Just barely a day after four people were killed at a village in Barkinladi, local government area of Plateau State, no fewer than seven persons comprising five males and two females have again been killed on the eve of New Year in Inding village of Barkinladi, local government area, with over 300 houses burnt. Eyewitnesses say the attackers came in large numbers on Monday night with firearms shooting at villages. Apparently, security is on the top burner at this season. We have uh, joining us now the News at 10, a retired military officer, Colonel Francis Okosum. Thank you for joining us on the News at 10, and Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you, Amarachi, and thank you. Uh, you're welcome. Uh, thank you for being here. It's a time when we should be celebrating the New Year, of course, but it's also a time when we have to think about security because it is at this time, incidentally, that we have issues of farmers and herders when their crisis begins because it's a dry season, it's a rainy season. Are there reasons why we should be worried when, you know, we're approaching the beginning of the year and expecting the rains? Well, I, I think it's, some people feel it's deja vu all over again. Um, about this time last year, we had all those skirmishes and all those uh, mayhem and destructions and killings in Benue State. So um, I, I don't think people should be unnecessarily worried about the influx of the headers at this time. It's, it's, it's in sync with the, 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 the season. It's a seasonal migration. The, the rainy season is abated, it's gone now, and uh, herders will seek pastures, uh, pasture for their, for, their, for, their, for their flock. So they come to the Benway Trough, which is the first stop uh, from that belt up north. Mm -hmm. So that's why you see them coming in there. Um, because we had these skirmishes last year, People say, well, they will go again. These people are here, um, so we ought to be wary. But I'll say something. We didn't have in place at that time the Operation Whirl Stroke that you have today. And you recall that since the emplacement of that operation last year, between then and now, we had little or no reports of killings as we used to have them. You, th you think there was something peculiar about last year? Because before now, there haven't been much reporting on herdsmen and farmers clashing in that part of the country. Yes. It's, it's the, the manifestation of another variant of the security challenges we have had in the country. We started with the Niger Delta militants. We got Boko Haram. We had rustling. And then we had the Benue, Benue incident. Mm. I, I don't particularly read anything on toward to the movement of headsmen at this time of the year. However, let me say that because whale stroke as an operation is a marrying up of the army, the air force, the civil defense, the direction of uh, Department of State Service and um, other agencies, we are more likely, more likely to have permeation down to the village level of uh, security agents, unlike what we had in those days before January 2018, I think it will be a much different. I am not being too optimistic, but I think it will be a little cautious optimism now. Well, we could dwell on this forever and yes. we could go back and forth on yes. who is infiltrating where. Yeah. But what steps do you think should be taken security wise at this time to nip, you know, a potential violence okay. from cropping up? Okay. If people are doing their job, I expect at this time that the police, the Department of State Service, who are the ones, the first responders, the ones who are closest to the people, should be able at this time to read indicators and interpret them. And by the time they come up with a picture, they can take it to the agencies that will use them. Government in the first place, who then direct who is to counter such. However, if the police can handle it at this level, why wouldn't they? If they yeah. cannot handle it, then you seek a higher level of stress, uh, strength. So at this point, can I ask, as a security, as a security uh, expert yes. and a former military officer, yes. you've observed um, you know, the goings on in the country, do you see pointers to potential violence in that part of the country? Okay, Amaraji, let me tell you something. This will be my take. Um, any discerning person will see that there has been so much politicization of the least indication of problem. Here is a country where 
Look, you see, I have so, we have so much talk about crisis here and there. Mm. At the end of the day, you saw that it was a precursor to people making political statements. Either movement out of one party, defection to other parties or something. Mm. Today, because we have an election coming up, anything is a potential incendiary yeah. and therefore should be looked out. Thank you so much, uh, Colonel Francis Okoso. appreciate your being here on the News at 10. We hope you have a pleasant year. Ahead. You too. Thank you very much, Anwachi.